Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rosette with Build Box. In this video, I wanted to show you a couple quick and easy game development effects that you can add to your game to spice up your game a little bit. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Create New, and I'm going to use the isometric jump slide template for right now because Danny showed me a really cool effect that he added to this one, and I think you'll really like it and it'll spark some inspiration for your games. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out an isometric jump slide template right now. And so this is the template that Danny used to create over it. So let's take a look at it right now just as is. Okay, cool. So we've got the same QB character and we've got these little red triangle or pyramids that serve as the enemies. And we've got a little platform to run on. Now the thing I want to draw your attention to, gosh, I guess I'm not too I'm not very good at this game. The thing I wanted to draw your attention to is the little bit of debris, the little black spots that are in the background. So the thing I wanted to sh I want to show you how to do some of that. Now, a lot of these are just part of the background. So I'll go into my world here and I'll show you what I mean. So part of this background is just these little black spots and it's like kind of the pollution and you can see the little black spots back here but the other thing that's being used right here and this is what I think is super cool is these particle emitters over here on the right now if you'll notice if you go over here to scene one and you go to scene two the particle particle emitters are still in the scenes but you can't click them you can't access them you can see their little frame right here and you can see the little frame right here and this is from the start scene but it's not being it's not clickable on the other scenes now let's check why this is so if you hit the option key now I'm using a Mac so if you hit the option key it's gonna put you into connection mode and that's this little icon right over here and that you can also just click activate connection mode or you can just hit the option key on and off with your keyboard and that's probably a little bit faster so you'll see here that these particle emitters are hooked up to the character so as the character moves and moves throughout the game the particle emitters stay this distance away but they're continually added to each scene so it becomes a part of each scene and this is what's really cool so let's go ahead and take a look at what this particle emitter is doing right now it might be a little bit difficult to see oh wow okay cool so what Danny did here is he actually put five particle emitters in one all right each one of these is throwing out different particles and it's adding this really cool effect so let me exit out of this real quick and I want to show you exactly what's happening I'm gonna move these particles a little bit closer a little bit closer to the character and into the scene so you can see him a little bit better. So let's do that. So now I'm going to move it over here and I'm actually going to take a scene that's a little bit longer and easier. Oops, I deleted a platform. I'm just going to hit Control Z and get that platform back. And I want to show you a couple examples right here. So let's go ahead and press play. Or actually, let me exit out of this preview. And if you want to test just this scene, there's a couple ways to do it. You can either hit this button right here, and this will test just the scene. It'll loop it, and you can keep testing the scene. Or you can select the scene down here and hit S on your keyboard. And you see this little blue bar that appears right here? That means that this is the only scene that's going to be playing, and so you can test out just this scene. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard again, and I'm just going to hit this button over here on the right near the preview button. And you can see now what's happening on the other side. But that by the time the little particles enter the scene, they're a little bit, they're like tapered off because they're, they're growing smaller and smaller as the emitter is continuing. And so you're just seeing the little, little bits of the scene when it's in normal mode. And I think this is a really fantastic way to add some variety to your game. And you can see it's, it's a lot going on, but it's that little bit that really makes your game stand out. And this is something that I think would be really popular with like a catch app type game or a voodoo type game. So it's a really cool effect and I just wanted to show you how you can hook up your character here using connection mode and you can hook them up to particle emitters and this is adding it's really what it's doing is it's adding to the background of the game it's not so much uh, a, an object or an action or anything that's involved with the, the actual gameplay but it adds a nice aesthetic it adds a cool game effect and it's so easy to do you just hook up your particle emitters 
and you can add a couple extra particle emitters inside of it so that it's like multiplied all across and you get this really cool pollution effect or you can have fire embers or something like that. And actually, speaking of fire embers, this is another, this gives me another idea that I saw in a recent game called Arctic Smash, which actually got a game of the day Apple feature. So it's a really, really cool game made with BuildBox and I saw that they use this one little effect where they use the particle emitter to do a cam Campfire. So let's take a look at this right now. I'm going to show you an example of it. And let me show you this platformer demo that Danny created. So I'm going to take my character and it's a little bit big right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, great. And I'm going to take a look at the scene and I want to stretch this out a little bit. Now actually before we start getting into that, hmm, I'm going to move this up just a little bit so I can grab the scene a little bit because, or actually better yet, I can move the scene back down and then just press the lock button so that I'm not touching it anymore. Now I can grab the scene easily without clicking on the background. So what I wanted to show you, and you can actually just see the game as is right now. Let's go ahead and just press play so you can preview this game. So. It's got a little platformer character and you're able to jump and he's got this little cool particle emitter effect that I think uh, Danny is just really good at making these particle emitters. And let me go ahead and show you how to add that campfire effect. So I'm actually just going to use a bunch of the objects that are in that are already built in to this scene. So it's not I'm not going to do anything really special or too crazy here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this. I'm going to take this little platformer object. So this is just this right here, but it's stretched down to um, practically nothing. This is kind of like a small stick. And what I'll do is I'll rotate it around, pressing command on my keyboard so that it switches to rotate here on the corner. So I'll rotate it around. I'll move it just like this. And I'll hit W on my keyboard to make a copy, kind of uh, give it another angle. And so now we've got sort of a campfire cross here kind of like the one in Arctic Smash. And now all I have to do is add in a particle emitter to this. So there we go. So there's the particle emitter, but let's go ahead and edit this particle emitter so that it looks more like flames. So I'm gonna click the little edit button here in the properties so I can edit the particle emitter. I'll select my particle emitter here in the particles editor. And what I want to do is I wanna change the color of this particle emitter. I like the types of particles that we've got here, but I want to change the color. So I'm going to go down here to color and I'm going to double click this little white bar right there. So here's all the colors that we can have available and we can change the color of this particle emitter. So why don't we go with something like a nice red and let's check and see how that looks. So give it a few seconds. Okay, nice. I like this red, but to be honest with you, it's a little bit too red. It kind of looks like, I don't know, hot lava or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit warmer, and I'm going to go with like an orange color. So I'm going to double click on my color, and let's go ahead and make it something more like this, a little bit more orangey. I think this might create the campfire effect a little bit better. And also, I think I'm going to change the angle and widen out the flames a little bit. So right now it has a randomizer of 10, but let's go ahead and make it a randomizer of 20. So it should now start spreading out this way and this way a little bit more. So, okay, cool. You can see that it's widened out a little bit. It, it, as it's going, it's coming out here a little bit more. I also might change the speed to make it a little bit faster. And let's see how that works. Let's see how that looks. Okay, cool. Now it's coming, the flame embers are coming out a little bit faster. And I also might turn down the life a little bit because it's the flames are going a little bit too long. So let's take a look at this. Now the flames should be coming a little bit shorter. It should, they shouldn't be going as long. All right, perfect. Now you can see that they're a little bit more concentrated. For a, for a second there, it takes a while for the particle to move all the way up to the top and it's to, to take effect. So now we've got a cool little campfire effect here. It kind of looks like, a, like flames. So I'm gonna exit out of the particle editor and now let's take a look at this scene. Let's see if it's got a cool campfire effect. Okay. Nice. You know what? It's got a nice little campfire effect, but I think it's actually moving a little bit too fast. So I'm going to exit out of preview. I'm going to go to my particle emitter, and I'm going to slow down the speed a little bit. Back, I'm going to change it back to 60. 
and let's go ahead and exit out of this particle emitter and you know what else I might do is I'm, I'm going to use command since I'm using a Mac keyboard I'm going to hit command and then the left bracket and I'm going to move them underneath these sticks so it looks like the flame is coming from behind and um, let's go ahead and test out just this scene so I'm going to hit the preview button or the preview scene button and let's check out this fire okay cool that looks much better this is a cool little campfire effect and let's say you, uh, you wanted to make this like an enemy or something and that's easily done you can just put an enemy object you can make the little sticks be enemies or you can put like a little collision shape behind it make the object invisible and then uh, it would be really simple so like for instance like this <clears throat> let's say I wanted to make like a little enemy here so that if you land in this fire then it's go you're going to defeat the character so I'll just switch it to enemy and then change the opacity to zero and then boom there you go you can still see the collision shape so it's right here if you touch this campfire if you get hit by the flames or anything like that then your character will be defeated but it's invisible since it's got the uh, opacity down to zero so it's a, it's a really cool effect so let's go ahead and check this out got my little characters jumping around and let's jump in the flames okay perfect and then that defeats the character so those are a couple cool little effects that you can do with the particle emitter and it really is super easy and quick and it helps add a little something extra to your game okay so I wanted to show you one last use of the particle emitter and how you can add that cool effect to your game um, this is a motocross game that Danny painted over and he created this template and it's so awesome I love his use of color palette he's got great colors and stuff Danny's a Danny's a whiz with this stuff so I wanted to show you well let's take a quick preview of this game so this is your basic motocross uh, template and you've got this little character on the wheels and he's looking good but you see all the little flames or little sparks that are coming up off the ground okay this is I think that's what really makes the the ground look cool and it's I think it's an awesome effect and oops I just crashed and died but the point is is I want to show you how he's doing this with the platforms because there's different ways to use and implement the particle emitter. So you'll notice here that if you go over the start scene and you go into your first scene, there's there's no particle emitters there. There's none that are being used in the scene. There, it's it's not at least being used outwardly in the scene. So let's take a closer look into this platform object that Danny created. If you go into the edit animation or the animation editor into this platform, you'll notice that there's a particle emitter hidden underneath. And so that that's how Danny does it. I wouldn't even be surprised if there's more than one particle emitter hidden within. Yep, perfect, exactly. This is a perfect example. So he's got three particle emitters and they're just sending them off in a bunch of different directions. And I'm gonna exit out of this. And that's what creates this super cool effect that you see coming off of the ground. And I think it's these little things that really make a game stand out. So I think it's a, I think it's a cool thing that you might want to consider adding to your game. Um, these are they're subtle, but they make a big difference. So I hope you thought this video was useful. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe.